Welcome back to Two Minutes of Power. I'm Deidre Banks. Today we're talking about 1 Corinthians 13 and 7. As you may recall from our other segments, 1 Corinthians is all about this letter that Paul, Apostle Paul, has written to the church in Corinth. He's addressing different problems in the church, and specifically in chapter 13, it's all about love. Paul is taking us through things that love is and things love is not. I love this passage because it's all about love. We believe in the power of love through our ministry, hence the name Elevated by Love Ministries International. Today we want to look at this powerful verse, 1 Corinthians 13 and 7. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Let's take a look at some other translations so we can see the power of this specific verse in chapter 13. The NASB version says, it keeps every confidence, it believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. The English Standard Version says, love bears all things. The New Living Translation says, love never gives up. It never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. I remember growing up and I had a toxic friendship. It was a friend from elementary school. She was just very mean and always had nasty things to say to me. Eventually our friendship dissolved and we went in separate directions. Love tells us that we continue to love others. Even though I'm no longer friends with her, there's still times when God brings her before me in remembrance and I pray for her. I pray God's best, that he blesses her, that he comforts her, that he heals her if there's anything wrong, that he encounters her with his love. Even though we may not always be in a close, intimate relationship with people, we're always called to love them. We are reminded in Luke 6 and 32 that if we can only love those who love us or love those who are our friends, that's what the heathen or the sinners can do. But we are called to love all mankind. God is telling us that our love has to be greater than the world's love because he is giving us his love through the spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, that empowers us as we press into that love to love like Jesus loves. Beloved, you have this power in you as a born again believer that we can access through the power of the Holy Spirit. Press into that power today and love others with the power that God has given you to transcend any barrier, any racial lines, any gender issues, anything. God is calling us to love in this higher power in this hour.